Samsung has been hard at work developing One UI 7, and before even releasing the beta version, we've seen some major updates, especially when it comes to the design of their core app icons. Today, we're diving into what's new, how the icons have changed, and a few cool features that are coming with One UI 7. This update isn't just about aesthetics, though. There's a lot more in store from animation tuning to better folder management. So let's take a closer look. One of the standout changes in One UI 7 is the redesigned app icons. Samsung has given a fresh, modern look to some of its most used apps, gallery, phone, camera, voice recorder, contacts, and notes. Ice Universe, a reliable source for Samsung leaks, reported that these new icons look different from the ones shown at the Samsung Developer Conference 2024, also known as SDC24. Samsung showcased One UI 7 at SDC24 and later at COD Labs, where they demonstrated a few of the updated features. But after the event, it's clear that Samsung continued tweaking things, and now we're seeing these polished icons in the most recent update. The new design aims to create a more unified and modern visual experience, one that looks sleek across all Samsung devices, especially those with LED displays, where icons really pop on screens as large as 6.8 inches. What's interesting is that Samsung is listening closely to user feedback. They're taking into account what Galaxy users want, making sure the new interface not only looks good, but also feels intuitive and clutter-free. The clean, modern aesthetic of these new icons is all about enhancing the user experience, aligning with current design trends while keeping things functional. Samsung knows that their flagship devices come with cutting-edge displays, and they want to ensure the UI matches that quality. The updated icons and overall design changes are meant to enhance the way users interact with their phones, making the whole experience more enjoyable and seamless. Samsung has announced that the One UI 7 beta program will roll out by the end of the year. If you're a developer or a regular Galaxy user, you'll get a chance to test out the new software before its official release. As to the final version of One UI 7, it's expected to launch alongside the next Galaxy S series, potentially the Galaxy S25, which could debut as early as January 2025. Samsung's One UI 7 isn't just about looks. There are plenty of new features coming to enhance your overall Galaxy experience. Here are some of the key updates that will be part of the Home Up app in One UI 7. One of the most exciting new features is the advanced tuning for home gestures animations. You can now choose from three different animation styles. Whether you prefer fast, smooth animations or something more dynamic and expressive, there's something for everyone, and it doesn't stop there. With advanced settings, you can fine-tune specific aspects like it is perfect. You can also customize the folder grid and adjust the icon sizes for even more flexibility in organizing your apps. The pop-up folder feature has also received a significant upgrade. Now you can adjust the size of pop-up folders, choosing from small, medium, or large. Plus, you can fine-tune settings like folder positioning, hide the edit bar, or remove blur effects for a cleaner, more streamlined look. This makes accessing your apps faster and more organized without any clutter. I hope you enjoyed today's breakdown of the One UI 7 updates. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What feature are you most excited about? And as always, see you in the next one. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now. 
onto the display. Both phones deliver top-tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch OLED display that also supports 120 hertz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's 18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.